Well, on to your cricket news now. Joining me in studio is Kariso Rabada, who's had a fantastic season, both for the national team and, of course, the Lions, who won the Sunfall Series just recently. The Cricket South Africa Awards are on the 11th of June, and he's nominated in two of those categories. Kariso, thank you very much for speaking to us here on ANN7 on Game On. Like I said, a fantastic season for you. It just seemed to have happened with a bang. I mean, you came out from that Under-19 World Cup, was fast-tracked into the national team and, of course, into the Lions senior team team tell us a bit about the journey what was it like and you know just adapting yeah it's been great um, I've been involved with the Lions and you know they've been great assistants to to my game um, we're in a winning team and we're around I was around people who, who knew what they were talking about and lots of experience and they sort of guided me um, you know in in how to approach different situations so yeah, the people around me get as much credit as I do, I guess. How difficult was it to move from under-19 level to that senior level? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a big step up. Uh, just the margin for error is way less um, than at a lower level. For obvious reasons, you know, players are just better. So you need to be on the mark almost every ball. Well, you're nominated in two of the categories for the CSA Awards, Domestic Newcomer of the Year, and of course, Sunfield Series Cricketer of the Year. The Lions, as a team, just uh, were on another level this season. Did you feel it as well? Yeah, well, in the short format, we didn't do so well. Mm. Um, it was an, an okay season in the, sh in the limited yes. overs stuff, but then in, in the Sunfall series, you know, we were on fire. No one could beat us. We did get the highest amount of points ever recorded in the season, and that just tells you enough um, about, you know, how we were feeling in the camp. Good vibes. We had batsmen scoring hundreds. We had fivers. So I guess the whole team dynamics were just going in one direction. And that is the ultimate, isn't it? It's sort of uh, test cricket. Every player wants to play test cricket. So, so that's the, the perfect breeding ground, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You're playing against um, very quality players, uh, players who have even represented uh, South Africa before, um, players who, who, some players who would have easily played for South Africa in another era. Mm. Um, so, yeah, the competition is, is great. Well, also joining us now in studio, just managed to sneak in in the corner, is uh, Eddie Lear, who was also nominated in the Cricket South Africa Awards for Ram Slam. Um, that competition, one of the best players, certainly getting a number of wickets in that competition. Eddie, thank you very much for joining us here on Game On this evening. It's been a fantastic season for you, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. It's been a great season for me. You know, um, I mean, like, uh, we, since from Australia, working hard, you know, um, towards, uh, you know, for the team to do all this season and uh, being a top lead we can take uh, in both Ram Slam and top 10 lead we can take in both Ram Slam as well as uh, momentum, you know, it's a blessing and it just shows the hard work that we put in during the off season. What worked for you this season? What just came right? Uh, what came right this season for me basically is, uh, you know, the consistency, you know, um, practicing smart because I used to bowl a whole lot of balls and mm. without, you know, focus and this year Sydney has sat down with me and told me that, um, you know, I must concentrate on, on, on certain aspects of my game of which we worked well, um, especially consistent th consistency as well as yeah. the lines that I should bowl. So that seemed to work this season. Hopefully it will work again next season. Many people say that you, you were in the shadow of Imran Tahir, but you've just shown your maturity and just what a dynamic player mm. you are for the Lions this season. Yeah, I mean, Imi is a quality player. You know, I've learned so much from him. And, you know, the way he plays for South Africa and the way he performs for, for, mm. for the Proteas, you know, um, it just inspired me to do better, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, um, you know, it's just showing out there that how the leg spinners are doing, basically, you know, um, in South Africa and getting leg spinners to recognize. So I really appreciate the job that he's doing, you know, and I learned as much as I can from him. And, you know, I'm just glad that he's working well at the moment. Okay, so for you, who has been um, that mentor or taken the leadership role with you, who's, who's helped you just uh, find your feet and become a, a mature player that you are? Yeah, I guess you can... Lot, lots of players. Um, everyone's been open to me. Um, I haven't had any fallouts with anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I do spend a lot of time with Eddie, so he, he lets me know on, on what his expertise are, or he lets me know on things that you know, he has experienced. Mm. So, you know, guys like Eddie, Neil McKenzie, Temba, Bavuma, um, Tami Tzolekile, you know, they just, just helped me through, through my path so far. Eddie, for you, Jeffrey has been 
he's been such an amazing coach to watch and just see how he's developed the Lions into, into a winning team with a winning mentality. Do you find that he's grown with the team? Yeah, definitely he's grown with the team. I mean, he's our Jose Mourinho, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, he's done well. He's won every competition that's on offer with the team and he also went to the Champions League's final. You know, I, I, I don't know if there's any other coach in South Africa that has done that, yes. you know. And yeah, I mean, like the way he handles the guys, his men management skills, you know, the way he lets guys be themselves while within a controlled environment is tremendous. Do you find that as well with Jeffrey? He just allows you to be the best player you can be. Yeah, no, definitely. I think Jeff is a type of coach. I can go knocking on his door at four o'clock in the morning and he'd open with a smile on, a, on his face if it isn't a grin. He's a very welcoming guy. He's Gent gentle, gentle, gentle coach. I just feel a good bond with him. What are you hoping to achieve when the season starts again? Um, well, now that we've won the Sunfoil, hopefully it'll take the momentum through in the, in the one-day stuff and hopefully we can make it three out of three this year. Eddie, for you, obviously top wicket-taker in both those limited overs uh, competitions. What do the Lions need to change to actually win those competitions? Um, I think last year we played good cricket, especially in those competitions. I think it boils down to luck, you know. Um, we just, like, in Sunfield Hall, close games, you know, they went to our, to our side. You know, we also need that lady luck, like, especially in our, in our limited competition, you know, so that, um, you know, we can go over the line. We just need, you know, those close games to come through for us. And I think we did quite nicely last season. Um, just that, you know, lady luck, like, especially on those games that are quite close, was not on our side. What would you like to achieve in this upcoming season? I'm sure Proteus call up as well. Yeah, you know, it will be nice <laughs> to be called for the Proteus. Um, but for me, you know, I just want to, my form, I want it to be all, th I mean, through all the three competitions, you know, including my first class competition. Mm. I think in my first class competition, I still have to grow in terms of consistency. If you look at the shorter form, it's, it's flares and it, you just bowl everything that you have. Yeah. While um, in the shorter, in the longer form, it requires your own, I mean, your patience and all the stuff. I still have to grow. But next season, definitely looking to be top 10 in all competitions. Kakizo, like I said, nominated in Domestic Newcomer of the Year and South Sunfall Series Cricketer of the Year. That must be quite a good way to end the season. Uh, I actually didn't. I, my parents actually let me know like two days afterwards. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's good, you know, it's just there's something, all the people are taking note of, you know, um, the, my performances uh, during the Sunfoil. Um, so I, I'm really glad to have won, the, well, not to have won, to, to be nominated in, 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 in that category, but we'll see if we win it. If we don't win it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's tough competition mm. in those categories, so we'll see how it goes, yeah. Eddie, same for you, Ram Slammer of the season uh, in that competition. I suppose it just gives motivation, isn't it, to just go and do one better? Yes, 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 definitely. Um, three years ago at the same awards, I won Newcomer of the Year, the one yes. that Kahis is nominated to, for, and I hope that he gets it. Yes, and, yes. Um, you know, I remember when I was getting there, one of our close friends, Temba Bavuma, mm. when we got there, you know, he was nominated for um, Sunfall Player of the Year at the time. And I looked at the screen, I'm like, one day I want to be in one of those grades, be nominated for competitions. And now I'm just glad that I, you know, be nominated for Ram Slam of the Year, you know, with guys like Richard Lee, international superstar, Kieran Pollard, international superstar. And, you know, it will be a special one if I get it. If it doesn't, I'm just happy to be nominated around those guys. Gentlemen, thank you very much for speaking to us here on Game On this evening. Wish you all the best. We'll see you at the Cricket South Africa Awards. And uh, we look forward to the start of the new season. Rest well. All right, thank, thank you for having us. Uh,